guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and uh, I'm going to kick it off just by addressing one thing um, in regards to BBV, the BVAL token. Alright guys, um, I put an announcement out earlier uh, just to let people know in the Telegram group um, what we've got planned for 2021. In fact, in the next couple of days, we will be having a liquidity generation event for BBV version 2 okay that's B valve reloaded all right guys um, the reason being is that uh, we thought it necessary uh, for the simple fact that if you look at the BBB chart right if you look at the chart um, or you look at the liquidity on it if we go to Dex tools you'll see it's not got much liquidity at all uh, we actually thought that when launching the token and we thought it uh, not good to do a pre-sale, you know, we don't want to be greedy and kind of, you know, pull everyone's money away from them. We thought, you know what, we've got money left over from the pre-sale on Bubble. So what we would do is we would uh, launch the token without the pre-sale. However, uh, by doing that, we only put around 50k plus in liquidity. And um, of course, the lack of liquidity doesn't attract uh, many new investors. All right, guys, and obviously it also makes it a little bit more volatile. Okay, so you know somebody selling some tokens can really move the price, even if it's not a lot of tokens, and obviously that is going to affect the uh, the rewards that you're making on staking, of course, and it also affects the APY on the farming of Bubble BBL. Okay, um, when the price goes down on BBV. Uh, the APY goes down on the farming of BBL. As you can see, right now it's around 38% when uh, it should be 100%. Alright guys, obviously that's a flaw uh, for the simple fact that that is going down. The staking reward state at 1%, obviously because that's fixed. Alright, but it does become a problem, um, you know, and, and it's not going to attract a lot of people to farm. If the price is going down so drastically because of the volatility, because of the low liquidity. So what we decided to do is have a liquidity generation event. Just another fancy word for pre-sell. Okay, so what we're asking people to do or warning people is that uh, we're giving people enough time. We don't want to just, um, you know, sell all the team tokens and do all that sort of stuff. Um, what we plan to do is swap the team tokens and the marketing tokens into BBL, okay? And in turn, that will increase the price of BBL by doing that because there's going to be some, you know, some large buy uh, orders coming in basically from swapping BBV holdings into BBL, okay? So if you're holding BBL, that's quite good. But what you need to do is you need to kind of unstake, uh, claim your stakes, claim your rewards, and um, uh, uh, unstake your liquidity if you are farming, okay? Because in a couple of days, we're giving people time, all right? In two days, uh, we will be moving those funds, all right, guys? And we will be opening a pre sale on the 3rd of January for BBV V2, version 2 at BBV, okay? So we will um, let this article out afterwards, and just so people have the details. Um, to go on bounce because the pre-sale will be held on bounce as it was with BBL and you'll be able to get the BVAL tokens now we're actually um, incentivizing you to take part in the pre-sale by offering the token at 25 cents okay and what we intend to do is list it ap approximately 75 cents so you're going to free extra money by being involved in that alright guys and not only that when it does go live you can stake it immediately and earn the one percent a day interest on that again what we hope is by doing this um, and, and and having some decent amount of liquidity in there because we'll be using uh, some of the funds raised for liquidity we hope that that will attract uh, other people in also by holding a pre-sale event um, we feel that that will attract eyes to the project anyway also because you know it's crypto and people are opportunity uh, opportunists they're looking for an opportunity to make money, whichever way we look at it. There's some people that are in it for the long term, but we're all happy, uh, especially when we make money in the short term as well. So nobody can argue with that. 3x is a perfect place to start. Uh, given our track record, um, when we when we um, promised 2x on BBL, we came through with all of that. And we intend to do the same 
on BBV. All right, guys. So please make sure uh, you go and read uh, all of this message when you go in the Telegram group, because it is important. It gives it's most of the um, uh, the body of the article is actually in here, um, minus just a few things. But uh, we are, you know, making sure that people are aware that uh, you know they need to kind of. Um, on uh, claim their stake in rewards, um, stop farming, all right, um, sell your LP tokens or whatever, and get back into just just swap. If if I was you, I'd swap it into bubble, right? BBL tokens, because obviously we're, we're expecting that to go up as well when we do the buyback uh, in a couple of days. Now, some people are complaining about um, gas fees and all that sort of stuff. You know, that's not anything that's within my control. Uh, personally, that's uh, the Ethereum network, and this is what we have to go through. Uh, there's gas fees involved. All right, guys. So hopefully, um, you know, if you do get in on a pre-sale, obviously, you know, you're gonna make those gas fees back anyway when you when you're up three x. All right. So I'll definitely bring you guys more videos on that, and we'll definitely be um, trying to promote that, and get uh, raise awareness about the pre-sale for BBV version 2 and hopefully we can give that a good kickoff in 2021 and a fresh start for BBV start again um, you know the mistake we made before like I said not enough liquidity in my opinion okay because you know people are going to take profits and stuff like that they're going to be selling their staking re rewards and 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 you know cashing out on that and you know if there's not enough liquidity that's just going to drive the price down too drastically which is going to deter buyers from coming in uh, to kind of take their position in on the token all right so any questions feel free to fire them away in the comments guys uh, i'll be here to answer them all right now just before we move on uh well sorry we will move on okay and i just want to point out to you why i'm buying the uni token all right guys now when this first came out Obviously, a lot of people got the airdrop for uni. They got, I believe it was 400 tokens, I believe. I also got that as well. Some some people had several accounts, and they got that across all of their accounts. All right? um, since then, the price had kind of like tanked and just been falling and falling. Okay, um, Look at that wick. So it was falling and falling, Okay, and it has been doing for a while. Now, what I've decided to buy back in right now, with the hype in Bitcoin, and um, you know, I believe a lot more people will come into crypto. I believe that uh, a lot of people will want to use decentralized exchanges because they won't want to do KYC and all that sort of stuff. Uniswap being the biggest dex of them all, right? I mean, we've even got our own coins on Uniswap, of course, BBL and BBV, so we use it a lot, right? And um, what I'm seeing is that this is actually uh, beginning to make its way up. Now it's already up quite a bit from the bottom it actually dropped to about one dollar and it had a height just about just under eight dollars so it's up 200 percent okay but it's actually broken this uh resistance line and and it's hitting this resistance so it's starting to make its way up and it's putting in those higher highs all right guys now if we go on the larger scale on the one day chart you can see a little bit more clearly um what this is trying to do it's, it's almost like it's trying to start its market cycle all right it's heading to the upside okay and it's just finding resistance on this line right here and it looks like it's ready to break uh, or it will be ready to break pretty soon all right guys but obviously it needs to find some strength and some buying pressure to push through this resistance over here once it does i believe that you know this is very small there's nothing really stopping this from starting to make its way up especially considering the market conditions that we're in with Bitcoin making its move to the upside, with Ethereum making its move to the upside. All right, guys, I believe that Uni being, you know, uh, it could be a number one contender in DeFi. Okay, a lot of people lost heart with this sell-off down here. But um, there's a lot of large, big money investors in, in, in this token. All right, if we look at the tokenomics. All right, it's got a market cap of a billion. I can see this in, like, getting into the, you know, the two three four five billion maybe even up to 10 billion and beyond all right in the future all right now obviously it's a big ask for a lot of money to come into it but there's a lot of exposure to this coin um you know uh, everybody's gonna probably hear about this this token especially you know with uniswap being one of the biggest exchanges in the world new people coming into crypto they'll think oh well um uniswap oh they've actually got their own token 
Um, we know what happened with Binance Coin, the utility with that, and um, you know Uniswap having governance and all that sort of stuff. I think there's a high probability that this is going to make some big moves to the upside. So I have put a position on it, and I'll be holding that to see exactly where that can take us in this bull run that's approaching us. All right, guys. So that's about it for now. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Guys, I'll see you in the next.